Now, Zoe, I'm going to do something. It's roasting, but it's okay. pot roasting. Okay. But what I've got is a lamb shoulder over here, which comes from, of course, the shoulder. It's a part of the animal that does a lot of work. So, so the mussels actually need a lot of cooking, a lot yeah. of low, slow cooking with a lot of moisture and a lot of flavour. And that's what we're going to do. And then the last part of it, we take the lid off and then it goes nice and crunchy. Beautiful, you'll love it. Nice, lovely. Now, to start with, I've got some herbs. Yes. Lamb, rosemary and thyme. Of course they go course. together. So I'll get you to, to pick some rosemary and thyme. And I've got one whole onion here that I'm just going to uh, cut into some nice chunks here. And you can see I've got a really really nice big pot here that will hold that whole shoulder of lamb. It's the sort of thing you can go to your butcher yeah. and, you know, asking for a shoulder on the bone is always the best and he'll cut it up for you and get it all ready. And it's so in fashion right now to slow cook. It retains, as much, you know, all the flavour, the good nutrition as well, so I like it. I've always said that meat cooked on the bone is always sweeter and I think it holds its moisture and flavour as well. It's one of the best things to do. Now this is on, it's nice and hot now. I shouldn't ever put my hand in there and touch it. He's but a professional. I've got asbestos fingers. I can just sort of <laughs> feel the temperature. Now I want you to pass me some olive oil. Olive oil is a really important ingredient. It sort of adds the lubrication to it and Gorgeous. olive oil goes so well with lamb and these sorts of flavours. So what I'm going to do is snap the top off. There we go. It's a nice, fresh, brand new olive oil. There we go. Into the pan it goes. Now, now, I'm not going to heat it up too much, even though my pan is quite hot. I'm going to get the veggies straight into it. And I want to sear that off. Listen to that. Oh, that's what I want to hear. That's perfect. Now, what? here's all your herbs as well. They smell so good. The thyme, the rosemary, delicious. You can just... It's almost like the raw version of lamb, isn't it? It's really... It just goes so well together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry these off with the veggies, just straight in there like that. Of course, when I'm cooking, a little bit of salt in there and Zoe some pepper as well. Done. Now, and then I'm going to get you to slide that chopping board over that yeah. has the lamb on it. There we go. Can you take it off for you? Take the plastic off it. There we go. go. What, I, what I'm going to do now is scald the lamb. Okay. And you can see this is the shoulder, part of the rib cage yeah. there. There's the spine going up to the neck. A little bit of paddy whack there that you just sort of put your knife under like that and take the, uh, the paddy whack out. There we go. Under like that. You probably don't want to do it uh, yourself. You want to put it flat on there, but okay. we'll take that off because that's uh, nice and chewy. And then with my knife, I just cut through the layers there of the fat and yeah. the meat. And what I want to do is score it so it opens up when it cooks. Okay. And helps to release some of yeah. the, uh, the fat from it and also allows some of the flavour to go in it. So on goes plenty of salt all over the shoulder. You can see the bone there and there's a little bit of the, uh, the scapula there as well. Pick that up with your hand, oh. roll it over because we want to get some yeah. pepper on all those sides there. And the other thing about cooking meat on the bone, especially the, like the shoulder, is that it actually holds it holds the shape. If yeah. you've got the bone there, yeah. it'll actually hold itself. If you don't take the bone out of it or debone it, you find it will shrink up yeah. quite a bit. There we go. We'll pick up all those bits of salt. That waste not what We not. don't want to waste any of that salt. Now what I'm going to do, Zoe, is pop the lamb in here, but I'm going to add some liquid to that. I've got some white wine here that I pour on the top there and around the side. I've also got some uh, some vinegar there. A bit of sharpness, I a, like that. A little bit of sharpness. Yeah. The, the lamb can be a little bit fatty, and, and the lamb fat is, is quite full in the mouth, so I find a little bit of vinegar as well, and I reckon about a quarter of a cup of vinegar in there. Some good quality vinegar is what you lovely. need. And you can smell the sharpness in there already, mm. and of course some extra virgin olive oil. We'll grab some more of that, because it is, it is such a great ingredient, and it goes so well on the lamb. A little drizzle on top there. Now that's come to the boil already in the bottom here. What I'm going to do is pop the lid on like this, straight on top there like that. This is going to go into the oven at 160 degrees to 170, whatever your oven cooks best at. And then it's going to cook for about two hours to two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. We'll take the, uh, the lid off for the last half an hour, make it go golden brown on top, and then we'll tuck it into some beautiful, tender lamb shoulder. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Nice and crispy on top. You can see it's falling off the bone here. You can see it's so tender. And you've just gone straight into the cell with the lemon juice. I know what you want juice. me to do. Oh, you know I exactly know. What. This is the perfect Mediterranean diet with the olive oil, the lamb, the beautiful fresh herbs. Love it. Onto the plate goes the lamb shoulder there. And what I'm going to do is use some of these veggies here and the juices from the lamb to, to base the whole lot of it. Fantastic. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll just slide this pot out of the way there. Excuse me, Zoe, I don't want to burn right. you there. And then, of course, 
some of this herb on top there just to garnish it up and make it nice and fresh. Look at that, falls off the top there. Look at that, some capers in there as well to cut it. And you've got the lemon juice. And just because we can, why don't we just put some more extra virgin olive oil straight over the top there like that. What do you think of that? Really nice. I'm looking forward to trying this. Have a little taste oh, of that. Oh, it falls off the bone. I mean, that's the secret. That's why we cook it this way, because we want it to fall apart. We want it to just, you know, just with a fork and a spoon is all you need. A few little veggies as well. Mm. I love the fresh herbs with it. I think that really just obviously freshens up the whole Picks thing. Picks it up, doesn't it? A bit of that yeah. zing from the lemon. I love it. Pop roasted lamb. What could be better than that? You know what? Three beautiful recipes. It's all about the roast and it's all about comfort food that you can eat, you know, maybe not all the time, but when you do eat it, it's delicious.